Tower 513 Sierra Juliet, you still doing ground and tower? Remember, 513 Sierra Juliet, Fox, ground affirmative. Hey, we are uh, 421 flank off, we're at the fuel tanks, we have Oscar, we're uh, initially BFR to uh, Auburn, progressed uh, services on the way out. Remember, uh, 513 Sierra Juliet, on request, you ready to taxi? Yeah, that was my next call, 513 Sierra Juliet, ready to taxi, 2-4. Number 3 Sierra Juliet, runway 24, taxi to Alpha Alpha 7, verify you have information on Oscar. Alpha Alpha 7, we have Oscar, 513 Sierra Juliet. Let's hear the wind here again. Star station, Oscar, 1750 Zulu, wind 240 at 24, gust 34, weather's better than 5005. Oh, that's nothing. And tower 513 Sierra Juliet uh, at Alpha 7, ready for takeoff. Number 513 Sierra Juliet, Fox Tower, wind 240 at 20, gust 30, runway 24, cleared for takeoff. RV on climb out is a left downwind departure. Roger, clear for takeoff, 243 uh, Sierra Juliet will be making a right turnout. Okay, time check, transponder check, traffic check. We don't need to worry too much about runway, we got 6,500 feet left. <laughs> 6,500? Can't even see the end. Uh, let's get the uh, fuel flow going. Okay. Airspeed live 70. 80. 95. A little bit of back pressure. Tap the brakes. Pull the gear up. Let's really pitch for blue line here. Get some straight ahead altitude. <laughs> Look, we're going. <laughs> Number three, Sierra Juliet, contact Joshua, 124.55, have a great day. 124.55, three, Sierra Juliet, thanks and so long. Joshua, good afternoon, or good morning, Golden Eagle, 513 Sierra Juliet, checking on, leaving 4,200 in the climb. November 513 Sierra Juliet, Joshua, the Palmdale altimeter, 2985, ident. Three, Sierra Juliet, 2985. Number three, Sierra Juliet, radar contact, two miles north of Fox. Three, Sierra Juliet, that's us. Are these solar fields out here? What are these? That's what it looks like. Solar array. Good place for it. <laughs> How's the rain here? It doesn't rain here much. Okay, let's put some solar up. 43 on the nose. Give me a slow flight home. Well, our, fly, our, our home is this way, so we're going to cut off some of that. But Still smooth, though. Yeah, that's kind of a plus, you know. You yeah. gotta, you gotta go with the smooth works. Rather smooth and slow than fast and bumpy. Yeah, what's a few more minutes, right? I could still be driving to Burbank. Yes. Or Ontario and get a car. What, what's the airport you would have been driving to? Uh, Burbank. Last time we came into Burbank. Really? It's so dry. Well. God. This is why they call it the Mojave Desert. Yeah. Nobody even tried to make a green lawn back there in that residential area. <laughs> like, there were some trees, but there wasn't a single patch of grass. Usually there's somebody willing to let the sprinkler run all day. 43 headwind, 32 crosswind. You know, you don't get both. You can't have both. You know, our ground speed of 171 ain't too bad. No, well, that's uh, not bad. Uh, we're getting 211 on the ground speed, which seems, I mean, 211 on the true, which seems, that's because we're a little bit of descent. We should settle in here just about 200. So now that I can see across, we're going to clear this ridge because I can see on the other side. Yeah, this Tehachapi is a cool airport in between the mountains here. That's like the pass to get down here also. You guys got enough air flowing back there? Yep, we're good. Doing good. I don't have AC on, but just the air. November 3 Sierra Juliet, contact Bakersfield approach 118.8. 18.8 for Bakersfield, 3 Sierra Juliet, thanks, Antelon. Bakersfield, good uh, Good morning, Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet, checking on 8,500. Number 513 Sierra Juliet, Bakersfield approach, Bakersfield Center, 2995. 3 Sierra Juliet. 2995, we got a little, a little higher pressure there. Well, you know, what makes these trees grow? You know, there's no, you talk about lack of water. I mean, the top of the mountain 
Yeah, they still got these trees growing. That's uh, pretty hardy. And right now it's uh, 54 on the nose. 54 on the nose? That's crazy. Yep. Well, this is a fun trip around the G600, huh? Here we are going to Auburn. Uh, GPS 1, 1134 in the morning. 40 degrees out. 54 headwind, 29 crosswind with a 61 total. True airspeed, 163. We're climbed, we climbed up a little bit. And should be faster than that at this altitude in these power settings. And uh, ground speed, 117. Yes, 117. Why is it climbing? Let's uh, go back down. And we're bugged at 10,000, 8,500, 299.5, and we're waiting to pick up our uh, IFR out of Fresno. So here's our straight and level. True airspeed is coming up where it's supposed to be. Doesn't want to go down and get that. Let's go down and get that. 178, somewhere around there. Hey, we're getting 135. But it's smooth. And Fresno, let's see, what SAC, uh, see if SAC has uh There you go, 195. And 151. Leveled off. Seem to catch that. Yeah, that's more like it. So the uh, Garmin pilot is uh, really dogging it. Might have to grab some scratch paper. I do have a pad over there. There should be a yellow pad in the drawer, in the pocket. Let's keep it handy in case I have to go to paper to write down the clearance. I don't know whose hand right now it is. Yep. Allow you. That's why you can't use it for IFR. I turned the cameras off. We picked up our IFR with Fresno Approach. We elected to stay low in the stuff, even though we were picking up a lot of ice, as you can see on these pictures. We were throwing it off. And I'll pick up the cameras as we're getting into the Auburn area and trying to decide if we're going to get in there on the approach. Here's the view Frank had from the co-pilot seat. It was uh, impossible to see out of it. It's not the heated windshield. Hey, blue sky. And North Carolina, carrying through Angelica. Oh, starting to be a far descent. Wow. Front the, window uh, camera, one you can still see all the ice on the windshield. I'm not getting this camera to start yet. Interesting, this one's jacked up. I think, read the back, Robert, does it say low battery? What's the battery? I'll get this for a sec. Hold this for a sec for me. It's not even on. Yeah, okay. Um, Plug this into that. Okay. There you go. That's a good view. You can see the clouds on your side and the ice on Frank's. Yeah, except the camera's not running. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's hand 3%. November 578, Juliet Zulu, contact Oakland Center 132.2. All right, so we are uh, 23 from destination. A lot of ice action going on today. Front window, you can see the band where I heated it up. We got ice on Frank's side. We've been knocking ice off the wings. Not that cold out. It's 20 degrees. Uh, the first time we've been out of the IMC for an hour. And uh, we're heading to Razi. RNAV checklist, load the approach. Check. Brief approach plate, we know it well, but we're looking at it today especially because we're probably going to miss. As like I say, every instrument approach is a miss until you get lucky and see the runway. All right, so no uh, inbound course 068, so 070 for all intents and purposes. AWOS 1937, we got no circling at 9 on 25. Missed approach, climb to 5,000, direct at B, left turn to 311 to Yucca and hold. And 22.7, of course, usual suspects, Yadfi, Sitsku, we're going to Rossi now, we'll do 3,000 soon. 
and we are going to set the minimums for uh, 1848 menu set minimums enter based on barometric pressure 1848 enter pops up here and then if we circle the land which we probably won't be able to 31 Charlie Golf House of Visibility it's going to be uh, 2,400, so two dozen for circle to land. Uh, the sediment inbound course, activate back to the final. So we know this course, we know this inbound well, all of us do. And we're heading for Rossi. Rossi in 12 minutes. If we look at the weather, it looks like it's going through, even though... The foothills have a tendency to hold it. Very pretty outside. And it's, you watch, when you get down to 33 degrees, this just sheets right off. I think the wing's uh, okay. Road southwest 4575 with you out of uh, 18. It's, it's, it's funny, without the glare, I don't need the glass. I mean, I was like doing this with the glasses from the glare. Yeah. This isn't as bright. Yeah, that was the only reason I put my glasses on. Because the glare? Yeah, bright. And we've got a headwind of 19. going to shift around on us. Charlie Golf, contact exec tower 119. Automated weather observation 1900. Our visibility is 6. Uh, the wind's still sh crappy, yep. but. Visibility at six, which you know is the first indicator of improving. Yeah. So we can go take a look. We can always divert. We can try a second look, and then we can go to Lincoln. That's the only one two seven point four. Okay, three zero zero twenty seven four. Thanks, Ansel. Bravo, descending three point seven for three thousand. Uh, Falcon uh, 7150 uh, Bravo NorCal approach, maintain 3,500, fly heading at 350. That will level at uh, 350, and what was the heading? Was it 350, 7150 Bravo. NorCal, good afternoon, Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Julia, checking on here, uh, 8,000. Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Julia, NorCal approach, descend and maintain 5,000. 5,000 now, 3 Sierra Julia. So it must be uh, nine minutes from Rossi. Three Sierra Julian, just uh, verify you have the weather at Auburn, please. Three Sierra Julian has the weather at Auburn, six miles, visibility 300 overcast. And wind in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was the wind? Simple airport. Automated weather observation, one nine or five. Six, was one seven. Wind, two, six, zero, at one seven, not, deep gust. Two, three, nine, visibility, five, mid, sky condition, overcast, at three, hundred, temperature. Sounds like two, five. Yeah, two, five, uh, except the 300 overcast part is the issue. Yeah. Oh, good, 187 on the, on the, on the descent. Well, you're still now. See, we're 32 degrees. Looks a little uh, ominous that we're going into, doesn't it? Look out that front window. That thing is like, uh, what is that up ahead? It's weird. You can see the ground next to us, though. Well, no, uh, ominous as far as different cloud formation. This yeah. is the moisture behind what went through. Yep. I predict. Now look at that. 33 yeah. degrees. And look at that. Yeah, there it goes. It just starts. Now, see, this is on the safe side. Five zero Bravo. So that's, is that, is that, you know, is that wild how that does that? And the wings are like, oh. Or that two five zero three thousand until established cleared for the ILS two three two left seven one five zero Bravo. Now see that cloud straight ahead that. 
could be a start of a cumulus. All right, four minutes to Rossi. We'll start slowing down. And Robert and, and uh, Frank, I'm going to leave the RPMs at top of the green. So when we miss, uh, we have takeoff, you know, ability instead of uh, instead of uh, leaving them back and then have to really put them forward. Yeah. All right, there's our 5,000 here. And are you doing that because it's real conditions, or would you have always done that? No, if it's if I'm going in VFR like we did back there, 1,700 RPM. All right, we're in. We're not in the yellow. We're in the green for airspeed, even though we're getting pretty bumped around. But would you do that for every IFR approach? Only if it was uh, cloudy, low, okay, like this. But look to the left. I mean, yeah. if we had to go to, you know, somewhere else, look at that. Yeah. But look to the right. Nice. What do you see there? And the right looks good too. Looks <laughs> good down below. There's an airplane just went in the cloud. Yeah. See him? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, uh, no factor, of course. Robert, look to the left where that hole is. Yep. You'll see him pop out. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, I, I would mind. I could do the uh, procedure turn. That is the wano. If someone sees Auburn Airport, out of you know, <laughs> we're gonna switch to VFR. All yeah, of a sudden. we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> ask for a contact approach or something because it would be. You're gonna get some haters there. See direct Rossi, then inbound on that approach. Maintain four thousand. Was that for three Sierra Juliet? Yeah. Number in bird, 3 Sierra Julia, affirmative, proceed direct to Rossi, and then inbound on the approach, descend and maintain 4,000. Okay, we've been going to direct Rossi, we'll change the altitude to 4,000. Sorry I didn't hear you, there's only three pilots here, everybody's talking to each other. Now we're doing 190 to Rossi, so we're going to keep going. How long to Rossi? Two minutes? And North Sierra Julia, contact approach 125.4. 3 Sierra Juliet 25-4. He doesn't say 3 Sierra okay, Juliet very clear. North Carolina, good afternoon. Gold Eagle 5 and 3 Sierra Juliet checking on 4,000 for Rossi. Gold Eagle 5 3 Sierra Juliet, North Cal, uh, approach report IFR cancellation in the air on this frequency or with the phone number. Uh, advise if you need it. Uh, we have the phone number ending in 6874. We uh, pretty much expect to miss, but we're going to uh, go take a look. 3 Sierra Juliet. Gold Eagle 3 Sierra Juliet, Roger. United 1974, contact I mean, Can we go this way? Is Auburn over yeah. here? Where's Auburn? <laughs> That's McClellan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anybody see Auburn? Okay. I see Lincoln. 3,000. 3 Sierra Juliet down to 3,000. Let me go through, Sarah Juliet. I'm showing an area of uh, heavy precipitation about three miles southeast of the airport, about one zero miles in diameter. Some flight to the north of it, but uh, most of it's now uh, east and moving north. Three, Sarah Juliet, thanks. Where's Lincoln? Right there. <sighs> I think we can get into Lincoln, IFR. Oh, yeah. We can. I'm sorry, there's a little build up right there, actually. It's red on the radar, so we've got to stay ahead or we can go left. Oh, it's 23 20, Roger. Just for now, flight presenting. Okay, here's our turn at Rossi. Yeah, there's your house. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it, I'm sure. Yeah. You can almost see mine. So, runway is there. Yep. Uh, you know what, it's like almost getting, almost getting, uh, I yeah. think you're going to make it. I think we're... Yeah, so it's I just confirmed. 5,000 feet. Clear. All right, we're on the way to Sitsku now in three minutes, so... There's Bald Hill. Yeah, you can see Bald Hill. You just yep. can't see the airport. Well, you might be able to. Is it just past the clouds right there? Are those the hangars? That's what it looks like. How long you need it, we can go to 90. The two la a white loan. Yeah, it looks on the like top. that's the airport right there. Except the 280 heading. So that's right, 280 on it. That's 2320 turn right heading 280. So that's right, turn Golden Eagle 3 Sierra Juliet, cross it to at or above 3,000, 
cleared RNAV runway, Christian clear straight in RNAV runway 7 approach Auburn. Appreciate your Julius, clear for your approach straight in 3000 at Siskiyou. Southwest 408, contact the tower, 125.7. 408. Auburn Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, 2 0 0 6 Zulu. Wind, 2 0 0 at 1 5 knot. Peak gust, 2 5 knot. Jesus Christ. Looks like a bunch of rain dumping just north of it, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll beat that in. Yeah. That's some good rain right there, boy. All right, transfer tank off. All right, pressure, uh, Papa Gumps. I think you can see the runway right now in Auburn. Descend and maintain 5, All right, well, if that's the case, we can do the approach, because if it, like, disappears, we're screwed. Yep. All right, pressurization, check. Uh, air conditioner off. Prop sink off. Auxiliary pumps on. Gas on mains, on both, and main is, uh, the transfer tank is off. See, this is you know this is a good uh, a good prediction that by the time we get here, this stuff would be out. I just like to get to Siskiyou and get my ass towards the airport. Yep. Southwest 2320, you can just uh, plan that is that heading uh, until you get to the down. So 2320. What's the uh, wind here? Out. Winds from the here at 25. Push, it's push it's going to push us and, down the uh, approach I'll pretty hard. Shortly. Yeah. Okay. Don't. So one two zero zero. That's 50 degrees off, which is like this for two five. Better than this from seven. A yep. uh, minute thirty to Siskiyou. Almost at Siskiyou, and that turned because the wind coming from here. That wing is going to just take us like this. 75 decent to maintain three thousand. Here comes a turn to Siskiyou. Last time I did this, I did it with one engine. Yeah. Exactly a week ago. Oh, the 45, yeah, about, about this time of day, too, huh? Yep. Completely secured? Or just... No, no. Uh, yeah, okay. Simulated. The single engine reference was referring to my flight review in my biannual that was done last right, Matt, week. Matt, you see pay paws out there? Yeah, I looked over there. We're activating the vector as the final. No. And we're going to activate the approach, arm the approach. And we're heading inbound. We're going to put the uh, heading bug on the inbound course for backup. Approach out 2409, level 4000, and heading 3400 out of Elko. Hotel. Southwest 4575, clear visual approach, only 17 left. Clear for the visual, 17 left, Southwest 4535. I don't know, Robert. You think, I think we're safe to cancel. Yeah. Because we have to... When he, when he terminates us, we'll cancel out. Three Sierra Juliet, change to the advisory frequency approved. Uh, give us a call back if you go on the miss. Three Sierra Juliet, we have the airport in sight, so we're canceling uh, IFR now. Then go Three Sierra Juliet, IFR cancellation receipt. You can keep the beacon code till you land. Change to the advisory frequency approved. We'll see you. Three Sierra Juliet, see you later. Yeah, the sun's just sitting right over the top. Auburn Trapper, Golden Eagle 513 Sierra Juliet is uh, 10 to the west on the approach for runway 7. Circle to land 25. Full stop, Auburn. There he is. All right, last time to hear the wind. Auburn Municipal Airport, automated weather observation 2 0 1 1 Zulu. Wind 2 0 0 at 1 0 knots. Peak gusts, two, five, not. Two, five, Visibil not. That tail's going to get his ass kicked. Yep. All right. Autopilot off. Ooh, i got to retrim now because we move fuel around. All right. Uh, you have, nobody thinks it's a good idea to uh, straight in today, do you? No. Not with 10 knot, gusting 25. I'd circle to land two, five. That's the plan. So we're at Yadfi. We'll ride the glide slope down a bit anyway. We only got 500, 400, 600 feet to go, and then we got to move over anyway. I'm a trapper, Golden Eagle 5 and 3, Sierra Juliet, 6 to the west, going to uh, circle the land, runway 25, full stop, Upper. Funny, I don't see anybody in, in there getting ready to go. And we're high, but I'm just staying high on purpose because we're going to circle. You'll hear the minimums hit when we're in the pattern coming down on final. Yeah, too bad. Not going to go straight in. 
Yeah, the wind, look at the wind, 17 at our tail, at our back. Yeah. Armor traffic, Golden Eagle 5 and 3 Sierra Juliet, uh, three miles to the west, breaking off, going to enter left downwind for runway 7, and uh, 2 5, full stop, Armor. All right, let's get set up here nice and early. The, the, the opened up for us. All right, now we'll do the end of care. We'll put the gear down. One, two, three, confirmed in the window. Mixture is up. First notch of flaps. And for a change, props ahead. It'll help slow us down. Remain suspended. All right, you got, uh, I'm gonna turn the damper on. Add a little power. One camera just shut off. Armor Trapper, Golden Eagle, 5 and 3, Sierra Juliet, uh, left base, 2-5, full stop, Armor. We're at blue line. Below blue line, we're coordinated. Let's configure, full flaps. Armor Trapper, Golden Eagle, 5 and 3, Sierra Juliet, turning final, runway 2-5, full stop, Armor. So the wind be coming from the left. Up here at altitude, it's still there, so we're going to put keep power in. So I'm going to need a little right rudder. And minimum. Uh, minimum. There's that. Minimums. Come on, baby. Green, left wing, left wheel down. Call Nancy Wagner home. Calling Nancy Wagner home. Yes, dear. We're here in Auburn. The uh, sky's opened up for us. You're on the frequency with everybody. Say hi. Okay. All right. Call you later. Oh, I will see you then. Okay, okay. bye. Bye. You want me to call threshold? Ain't that cool? Yeah. Ain't that cool? You know, you just call up on the phone and the headset and everything. Man, just tell yeah, me, you know. I'm a Trevor Golden Eagle 5 and 3, so you do it clear 2-5. Going to park in Auburn. 